Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about an instrument which is used to measure inflation, and that's the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. We will briefly explain what the CPI even is in the first place, go over 2021 CPI basket, and then explore how the index values are used to calculate inflation. With that said, let's get into it. So the main idea behind the Consumer Price Index, which I'll be calling the CPI throughout the rest of the video, is to measure changes in the prices faced by the average household. But how does one go about figuring out how much the average household spends? Well, since I'm Canadian, I'll be able to speak specifically to how Canada goes about this process, but every nation with a similar economy will use a similar method, so make sure to follow along carefully. Every year, a Canadian federal agency called Statistics Canada, StatsCan for short, conducts the Survey of Household Spending. The survey asks about 48,570 Canadian households about their purchasing habits, including what they buy, how much they buy, and where they buy it. Based on the results, StatsCan constructs a shopping list or a basket of goods and services that the average household buys. Now the catch is that this survey is not legally mandated, which means it's voluntary, and it's said that the results from one household can potentially be extrapolated to 1,100 similar households in the country. Every few years, the types of goods in the basket are updated to reflect changes in trends and general purchasing habits. So I've gone ahead and collected the survey of household spending data from 2021, broken down by all eight broad categories to put these concepts into perspective. In 2021, food made up almost 16% of household spending. Shelter made up just under 30%. Household operations made about 14.5% while clothing and footwear made up 4.3%. Transportation contributed to almost 17% of household spending. Health and personal care at 4.6%. Recreation, education, and reading made up 9.3%. And finally, alcohol, cannabis, and tobacco made up just over 4.6% of Canadian spending. So those are the weights, so to speak, of each good or service. Again, the CPI is an average of the prices of the goods and services in the basket. Now for calculating CPI, one year is chosen as what's called the base year, where the CPI is set to 100 for that year. Here's the most important part to remember. For any other year other than the base year, the CPI is equal to the ratio of the dollar amount necessary to buy that basket of goods in that specific year to the dollar amount required to buy the very same basket in the base year multiplied by 100. Then the two CPIs will be compared to one another to see how much inflation has impacted the growth of CPI from year to year or from month to month. Now we're in the process of making a video which will cover how to calculate CPI with a real example, so stay tuned to the channel for that video. The goal of this video is to give you a broad idea of what CPI is, as I'm sure you're hearing and reading more and more about this concept on the news or in journal articles, and we want to make sure our audience is well informed. As usual, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and let us know what you'd like to see more of in the comment section below. We appreciate all of your support, thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.